Her name is Coco. She's about two feet tall, five feet if you add in the flag. Weighs about 50 pounds. She looks a bit like a toy car as she drives along the sidewalk and she works for a living, sort of. What if I told you it delivered food? That'd be awesome. Kamali Moreno was just one of many taking second glances at this literal Meals on Wheels. Food delivery without human contact at your door. You see Coco over there? You bet that's Coco. Some people have concerns as Coco drives by. I'm worried it would take somebody's job away. The company says each robot is operated by a pilot, so no human jobs are lost, they say. I love it. I love it. I think it makes sense. I don't think it's necessarily going to stop when the uh, pandemic cools down. We started Coco um, actually before the pandemic with the goal of helping local businesses deliver to their customers uh, at a much lower cost. Zach Rash is one of Coco's co-founders. He and his partner did their work up as students at UCLA. He's now 23. Rash says the self-driving industry was just moving too slow for them. So they kicked it into high gear, hired a team of robot pilots, people that operate the robots using cameras to help navigate. And they work from home. So these are delivery drivers who are W-2 employees. They work from the safety of their home and they, and they deliver um, the food via the robot remotely. We talked to uh, quite a few people about Coco. Not everyone was impressed. I don't think it's that good of an idea. I don't. Uh, I mean, then you're losing all, you know, communication, you know, with people. Rash says in research and development, they're working to give Coco a voice. She has lots of eyes, though, cameras that help the pilot keep from driving into people or objects. I'm just wondering if somebody would stop it and grab the food out and take off with it and never get it at your place. James Brown, who owns San Pedro Brewing Company, so says not a chance. The door about. is locked after they food were. is put in, and the pilot remotely unlocks the door when the food arrives at its destination. But for him, Coco is an asset. An innovative way to, you know, increase our business, um, um, do some, you know, COVID safe as far as transporting the food. Um, but the, one of the biggest things is the cost savings for us. So meet Coco, just like the scooters you see all over the sidewalks now, she's joining the crowd. In San Pedro with Coco, I'm Hal Eisner, Fox 11 News.